Hi, this is Thomas Michaud, and welcome to Brain Doodles. In this lesson, uh, the second lesson of our topics of building blocks, we're going to take a look at how to create squares and rectangles. Okay, as you can see over on our little uh, smorgasbord of shapes that we have over here on to the right hand side that uh, already we can start to creating some basic elements or some basic uh, objects with these shapes such as a box or a table. Okay, so let's uh, first take a look at the square. Okay, for the square it's pretty simple. You know, you've probably doodled these um, thousands and thousands of times while maybe you've been on the phone. You know, small squares, squares within squares, squares overlapping squares. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can end up doing and you know it's just really four equal sides. However, you know, any square might turn into a rectangle and vice versa. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, a lot of times we're just you know using uh, you know a basic idea of what we're thinking of as a square. A lot of times we only have to make sure that something is like about 30% recognizable for us to understand what it is. And I think that's a pretty good idea that it's a square rather than a rectangle. Okay. Uh, we can place things close together. Okay. So like, uh, you know, like we have blocks, building blocks that are close together. We can put things very far apart and connect them with lines. So use placement. Uh, something that's close together. We can create very large squares and very small squares. So this is going to be, you know, much more important here versus the smaller square. So using size is another way that uh, we can give distinguishing characteristics of very simple shapes. Okay, so these are, are just ideas of, of, of squares. Now let's move on over to the rectangle. The rectangle, normally you're not going to do this so much as a square because when you have a, a pretty good indication that you're going to do a rectangle, you're going to make a very long stretched out shape. Okay, something that has short sides versus very long sides. Okay, the uh, once again we can use size and placement here. You could put in a whole bunch of rectangles. Okay, and you know you might start to think that um, you know this could be a city or something like that or a town. So, our, you know, just a set of buildings, okay? So, you know, rectangles and squares are very, very common in our shapes that we're going to be doing. So now let's take a look and see what we can do as combining um, some of these basic shapes together already. Okay, so combining, say, like um, a square, you know, like we have our square we can combine those with things that we've already learned already, such as the curved line or even the rectangle. You know, and then we can kind of you know give these angles a little bit to the side. And right now we kind of see this as a maybe as a box. Okay. And we can draw an arrow, a line with an arrowhead coming out. And so we're getting out of the box. If we put a face in front of it, As a pictogram, we might be thinking outside of the box. All right, uh, we could combine uh, rectangles and a box and the curly lines as a gift. We could um, have a rectangle, and inside of it, we could have lines that cross over each other to kind of create a grid and showing a graph of something. All right, so there's a lot of things you can end up combining in order to uh, creating things. Uh, and of course, what would be complete without doing, you know, some rectangles. And of course, we're, we'll, we'll end up covering circles as well, um, you know, to, to creating a TV, okay? Um, another basic combination might be having a rectangle and another rectangle inside, making squares out of that rectangle, adding another rectangle, coloring and something in, adding some circles, and then you get, you know, kind of like this school bus, all right? So lots of different things you can end up doing. And what do you do in order to getting all of these things of, you know, ideas in your head? You doodle. And you will find what you can, what you can create for whatever you're thinking that's going to help you to remember certain subjects. So 
you know, really in conclusion, what you just want to do is keep doodling uh, with, you know, a lot of these basic shapes of what can I do to add on, you know, to creating, you know, like a faucet or whatever it might be. You know, we, we've got a lot of things that we can end up doing with just the basic shapes that we already have of the rectangle and the square.